It was a somber dedication ceremony today in New York City. Survivors, rescuers, and those who lost loved ones joined President Obama to open the 9-11 Memorial Museum. Our Brad Bell is live in New York tonight with more from today's moving ceremony. Brad. Well, Allison, it was a moving ceremony, very emotional, and there were more than a few tears shed inside here today. But it was also an elegant ceremony, at times uplifting, and really it captured the feeling of this museum. A haunting melody soars over an audience gathered in a sacred place. A somber President Obama speaks for a nation. We stand in the footprints of two mighty towers, graced by the rush of eternal waters. We look into the faces of nearly 3,000 innocent souls. From its first notes, its first words, today's dedication reflected the dual missions of the 9-11 Museum, to make sure the cruelty and loss of that day is never forgotten, and to preserve the amazing stories of survival, like Florence Jones. She donated the bloody shoes she shed that day as she scrambled down nearly 80 flights of stairs. I wanted my nieces and my nephew and every person that asked what happened to see them. The museum preserves thousands of artifacts, large and small, a stairway to safety. There is a red bandana like the one worn by 24-year-old Wells Crowther. He perished in the Trade Center while heroically leading dozens to safety, including Ling Yun. She appeared with Crowther's mother. It is our greatest hope that when people come here and see Wells' red bandana, they will remember how people helped each other that day. There is already a waiting list for general public tickets to see the museum when it opens next week. And even now, crowds gather just to be near, many planning to come back. I think you need to, to see it, to need to be there, it needs to be remembered. Well, you heard Mrs. You heard Mrs. Crowther speak there in the story of her, of her son Wells, who saved so many people. The young man in the red bandana. What Ms. Crowther said was is that she hopes that heroism is the real spirit of 9/11, and that that's what lives on in this museum. Now, as we said, the museum, which sits back behind me, that slanted building, opens to the public on the 21st of May in Lower Manhattan. Brad Bell, ABC7 News. Thank you, Brad. That had to be quite a scene. Mm-hmm.